Today we're working on the Max 31855K thermocouple amplifier breakout board. This comes with a thermocouple and we're going to be wiring it to an Arduino Nano replica. As I solder on the terminal block, I'll run through what the breakout board includes. There's a 3.3 volt regulator, 10 microfarad bypass capacitors, level shifting circuitry, the two pin terminal block and the pin headers. The Max 31855K thermocouple amplifier breakout board only works with the K-type thermocouples. These thermocouples operate between minus 200 degrees Celsius and 1350 degrees Celsius with a 0.25 increment and have an accuracy of 2 to 6 degrees Celsius. The terminations on the thermocouple need to be squeezed in order to get them to fit into the termination block. Once complete, you can insert them into the terminal block and begin to tighten the screws. Once the screws are tightened, the breakout board is now ready to be wired to the Arduino Nano. The breakout board communicates over SPI and is 3.3 and 5 volt power and logic level compliant and can be connected to any three digital I.O. pins. Next, we're going to open the Arduino software and install the library for the Max 31855K breakout board. This can be done by selecting Sketch and include library and finally manage libraries. From the library manager you can search which libraries you wish to install. So I'm going to search Max and next select the Max 31855 library. You can install the newest version and please install any other missing dependencies as they will be needed. From this point you can close the library manager and you can open the example provided in the library. I'm going to open the example provided by the Adafruit Max 31855 library and the example called Serial Thermocouple as this example would send the live data over serial communications using USB and can be viewed using the serial monitor in the Arduino software. Here is an explanation of the code. First we include the libraries, the SPI library and the thermocouple library. Next we define the pins for the SPI, data out on 3, chip select on 4 and clock on 5. Now we initialize the thermocouple using these pins. In the setup loop we first define the baud rate. This is the communications over USB serial comms. Once the thermocouple has been initialized and no error has returned, the program will exit setup and enter loop. At the end of the loop, you see the delay function with 1000 milliseconds. This gives us a cycle rate of roughly one second per cycle. In this loop, the internal temperature of the thermocouple is read using the read internal function. The Celsius value is also read using the read Celsius function. If there is an error with the thermocouple, a message will be printed in the serial monitor. There is also an option within the script to print the temperature in Fahrenheit. I'm going to connect this breakout board to the Arduino Nano using the pins defined in this example. So you can see data out is 3, chip select is 4, and the clock pin is 5. Today we're using a replica Arduino Nano and I like this model because of the screw termination that I've soldered on underneath. Begin by connecting jumper cables to the terminal pins on the Arduino Nano. First I add jumper cables from the 3.3 volt pin and the ground pin and then I add pins to the digital I.O. for the SPI communications First, pin 2 for the data output, pin 3 for the chip select, and pin 4 for the clock. Next, the other end of these jumper cables are connected to the breakout board. Red for VCC, 3.3 volts, black for ground, green for data output, blue for chip select, and yellow for clock. And now we can power up the Arduino. compile the example sketch in the IDE and upload to the device.
you can verify that the sketch has been uploaded to the device by seeing the RX and TX LEDs of the serial communications flashing at high speed. Once the upload is complete, you can open the serial monitor. Please confirm that the baud rate is correct. This can be checked in the sketch itself. Serial begin with the baud rate in brackets. Temperature is being read over the serial communications. So I'm going to do a test. I have a cup of hot water. I'm going to insert the thermocouple into the cup. So at the moment it's reading 10, 12 degrees with some errors. And now I put the thermocouple into the cup. So immediately you see it rising. It seems to have stabilized at 58, 57 degrees Celsius. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the thermocouple and see what happens. You can see that the temperature has dropped immediately. This is a sign that it's working anyway. So that test has been successful. We are reading data from the MAX 31855K thermocouple amplifier breakout board. In a later video we will use this information to control a high voltage relay. I hope you found this video informative. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.